I wanted to record a quick video in Blender to show off that hair tool that I posted the link of. So I'm starting out with a sphere. I have the hair tool installed. It's a tab for it here. Uh, basically, what you want to do is under particles, add a hair particle system. Hair and it's at this little 100. Um, if you lower the hair length so you can see better. Uh, so I can see 10. And then what I'm going to do is paint a weight map. So you go under object mode and you click weight paint. Set the amount you want, and you can also paint the fall off and make it flat. So I'm just going to paint a chunk. And then to get this to actually work uh, with the hair system, you go under Vertex groups. And you click density and you just pick that and you can see that it's working there. You can also do it with length, but what it will do is cause a fall off to happen and the hairs will get shorter towards the edges, which I don't want. So I'm not going to bother putting any length either. But you could make a separate map for length. Um, and once you have this, then you go to particle edit. Now I can style the hair. You can see the style right here. But what's really cool is in the hair tool, you can say create settings and then turn interactive room on. And now as I stroke, um, these update after the stroke happens. So they don't update real time, but they update just after. Really cool. I'm going to look the, uh, the hot tool list to make this bigger. Yeah, it updates pretty quick. And it gets even better than this. Um, I can take this and I can click out of this, go back to object mode, and then select the actual hair cards themselves. And I can go into edit mode. And in here, I can edit the curve profile. I don't want to give you that error. Under curves, I can say closed. And what I can do here is edit mode. Change the shape of this. So I like this one. That error that I was getting is uh, actually another plugin that I use that quite frequently causes errors with different tools. And as I'm modifying this shape, you can see these are all changing too. So the shape is now propagated. And when I'm done editing this, I just say close curve. Now these have that. And then if I go back to edit mode on these, I can then taper the curve. Say 
Okay, and boom, that updates. And then from here, we'll find the object mode, and I can select this object, and I can go back to particle edit, turn interactive for me back on, and continue working with stylized hair. This tool is absolutely amazing. And what's really cool is, even further, is that with this, I can then go back into object mode, I can select these, and then individually, I can go into edit mode, and I can tweak each of these points, because this is just a built-in feature of Blender. I can change the radius of each of the points, and it will remember this. What it won't remember is if I continue stylizing the part styling the particles, I can twist this, but this twist will go away. So when you're done your hairstyle, if you want to give some of these a twist, um, you can do that at the end. But it's still such a powerful feature that I've not seen anywhere else. That twist you'll see it goes away. Let me just make the radius on this one big so you can kind of see that it doesn't go away. Back to object mode, select this, go to particle mode, and then when I start to oops, turn it right to back on, and you'll see that it keeps, it tries to keep it. Um, maybe because my brush is so big. And that's actually keeping the twist right now. It actually will reset the twist here and there, but um, it's trying to keep it as best as it can, which is still, it's, it's amazing. Uh, but yeah, so you've got comb, uh, length, cut, puff, uh, all these different sculpting features. And then if you don't want to wholesale grab everything, you can go under select, and you can say box select. And uh, actually, I think I have to go into this mode. Now I'll only be editing these, so I don't have to worry about not grabbing things that I don't want to grab. So yeah, really, really powerful tool. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, all of the actual stuff for making hair cards for games is crazy, but I'm looking at it mainly to do 3D printing. Um, yeah, in general, this is amazing. I wanted to make a quick video for you guys.